So what we have here is um, it's the beach between Seaton Sluice and Blythe and just had the dog basically on the beach and uh, stumbled across this. Now this to me is a new uncovering and what we're looking at is an old land surface. This surface I believe is anything beyond 10,000 years old. It's, uh, it's the black stuff that you can see protruding through the sand. We've had a few quite stormy seas recently and what, what this has actually done is it's removed the sand as is quite natural along most coasts. Sand builds up and, and gets removed depending on the tides and the weather. And what we have here is an exposed black layer of very organic material, uh, below which you can see some grey type clay. Now, I get incredibly excited when I see stuff like this. It's quite fascinating to realise that pretty much all of this area would have been forested because clearly this is the deposited vegetation that's rotted and is on its way to actually become um, come oil eventually and within it you've got inclusions such as this this is a, a log that's obviously a bit of a tree that's fallen down and embedded itself but they're all over the place look at this there, there's another big piece um, that you can see there the tide was coming in at this time so I actually you know I was rushing to get it that was fascinating that's an upstanding probably in situ tree stump you can see the roots still there and you can see the inner core of the wood but there's look there's the roots so I think that's actually in place I think that's a snap tree and it's just embedded there's the core of the wood you can see it's very well preserved obviously it's been in mud and in salt water But these logs are all over the place and I've seen them before about a year ago I, I think that's a metal pipe that's been part of the World War II installations that were along this beach but uh, there's another big log and uh, yeah the tide was coming in but I wanted to show you there look big tree trunk you can still see the mud encrusted in it that's protected all these years and you can see the fine grain of that bit of wood there and by the way, I'm recording this audio over the video because the wind noise was crazy and you couldn't hear. That's just Josh, my dog. He gets in the way. And uh, yeah, look, there's another very well preserved wood. Um, the reason I know it's 10,000 years old, or at least 10,000 years old, is because I found something similar before a year ago, maybe two years ago, further up the beach towards Seaton Sluice. And I actually reported this to, um, to some specialists who came down and had a look at it and they, their best guess is it matches some very similar land surface, ancient land surface that was found up um, further up the coast just north, uh, sorry just south of Amble and they reckon it's the same surface and that was dated to 10,000 years. So it's all here, I mean it's going to get covered up over the next few days without doubt and hopefully will be then re-exposed for somebody else to find. Uh, in years to come, but it's it's amazing to think this still exists. If you were to dig this up on an archaeological site, you'd be over the moon. It's quite it's. I, there's that big log again. Now you can see the wrapping around, and again the piece of wood there that uh, that's exposed the grain. And it's very soft. This stuff. It actually, if you scuff it, it. it does break away so it's going to get eroded. There's that stump again. I was fascinated by this because um, unlike my other bits that I found which was particularly um, uh, just broken or fallen logs, this, this looks to me by all accounts to be actually in position. It, I think this is literally as it was when it grew or when it died. I think that might be another small one although it's hard to tell it's a much smaller sample there. But this one was so great. Very happy I found that. There have always been anecdotal reports of petrified forests 
appearing along the coast around the sort of Blythe Seat and Sluice area. I've never seen that, but these aren't petrified. Uh, they're not even fossilised because obviously they haven't turned to stone. They're, they're just actual bits of wood that have been protected with the mud. Lots of inclusions below that. When I find places like this, I always hope well, I'm going to find some flints, which shows obviously that people actually lived on this surface at the time, and I'm sure they obviously did, but I haven't yet found any. It's amazing to think how many people would have walked over this and just not been aware at all what it is, or probably not even noticed it, just thought it was another little outcrop of rock that sometimes appears. But it's definitely, that, that wood's definitely part of the original land surface because you can see it's actually embedded into the, the black organic marker. It looks like there's some more over there. Uh, that's just another World War II pipe, which was... Uh, yeah, it looked like it was in sections, but I don't think it is. I think they're just fractures. But as you can see, it's going. There's a very small sample of this black old land service, ancient land service, and then actually, um, as you can see, the pipe seems to be going over it. So I don't know if they cut into the land surface uh, when they were putting the pipe in, or whether it's just fallen there and worn its way down into the surface. I'm not really sure. It is very soft, as I say, so uh, <laughs> maybe a dog buried it. But as you can see, it's it's been embedded in there. But yeah, that's the same as you can see. It's, it does scuff quite easily there. Obviously, the black is black coloured because of the high amount of organic material that's in there. Fascinating. 